Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. In this video let's try to solve this really interesting and great exponential equation x to the power x plus 1 equal to x. We have x on the right, on the left, we have x in our power, so it looks like not an easy question, but I wanted to, I wanted to show you two really great tricks, how can we solve the two really great, really great rule. First of all you need to know about a really great and maybe obvious and classic power rule. First rule, this is the next. You need to know about a to the power m plus n equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. Okay, so this is our first rule. We have absolutely the same situation right here with our x. We have x to the power x plus 1. Yeah, this is our first uh, rule. We apply this right here. So we have x to the power x times x to the power first equal to equal to our x. Okay, I hope you I hope you understand this step. We just apply apply this rule right here. What we're we going to do next? A lot of approaches right here, but I want to show you maybe the, the easiest one. First of all, you need to bring this x on the left hand side. Classic in math, you need to bring variables on the left and constant you need to leave on the right hand side. We don't have any constant, so let's try to bring this x on the left hand side. So we have x to the power x times x to the first, this is our x, minus x equal to equal to zero. Okay, okay. Right now, let's look at this expression. We have our x right here, and we have our x right here. So we can easily, we can easily factor this x. Let's do this. So we have x, and in parentheses, we have like x to the power x, x to the power x, minus minus one equal to zero. Right here, the really great rule from math, if you have a product uh, of uh, two variable, two elements, or doesn't matter, parentheses, not parentheses, if you have a product and this product equal to zero, then you will have two cases. So the first case, the first case, x is equal to, x is equal to zero, so this x equal to zero, or this parentheses is equal to zero. Because if x is equal to zero, we will have like zero to the power first equal to zero, so which is absolutely correct. So right now we find the first root, x equal to, x equal to zero. But x, uh, this x goes to this, to this x equal to zero, but we have, we still have this parentheses, so this, this is our first case. But the second case, this parenthesis is equal to zero, x to the power x, x to the power x minus one equal to equal to zero. And how can we solve this? As I told before, if you have a variables and if you have a constant, you need to group our variables on the left hand side, our constant on the right. And for this, let's try to let's try to bring this x uh, to the power x on the left. We still leave this right here and we bring this one to the right hand side, x to the power x equal to 1. So this is our second case and let's try to solve this, this equation x to the power x equal to equal to 1. So generally it looks like that. I want to write this uh, in uh, like mass terms right here. So this equation looks like that. Looks like uh, a to the power b equal to 1. And this equation will have three roots and I want to write all general cases right here. So the first case, if a equal to 1, if a equal to 1, then b need to be real numbers. b is real number. Okay. Second case, if a is equal to minus 1, then b need to be equal to, to n. So n is z. So a whole number, so even, yeah, even number. Then with this, uh, with this to n, we will have a correct expression. And the third one, we have like a is not a is not equal to zero and b equal to equal to zero. So for this equation, you know in uh, math math terms right here, you need we need to check all three all three cases. So this is like a general solution. In our case, we have x to the power x equal to one. And let's check these three cases. If a equal to one, in our case, we have like one to the power one and b is real, so we can easily solve it in, in this way, because we have x and x, we have completely the same, so we have like a is 1, b is real, in our case, if a equal to 1, then b equal to 1 as well, because we have x to the power x. So we can easily approve this, approve this step. Then the second step, if a equal to minus 1, okay, I write this step right here, so the first step, if x equal to 1, then we will have like 1 to the power 1 equal to 1, which is which is absolutely, absolutely correct. Okay, the second step. Second step, x equal to minus 1. 
then we will have like minus one to the power minus one equal to minus equal to minus one yeah which is which is uh, which is wrong right here so we don't need this don't need this root and the third step as i told before x equal to zero in our case a, a is the, a equal to zero so we can easily say that uh, right here we don't need this we don't need this case so as a result we still have two roots the first one x equal to one and the second one x equal to x equal to zero so our answer our answer from here x equal to zero and the second one x equal to one x equal to 1. This is a solution to this question. So I hope you understand this uh, this uh, thoughts right here and I wish you all the best. I hope you're doing great and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.